Oh, hey everyone, I'm going to do a roundup of all of the stuff needed to get Mobile VR Station working with modding. So first off, if you don't have local files, when you open the app, it'll ask you, do you want to grant it the ability to read your local files? You need to hit yes. If for some reason it doesn't show that, you need to go into the Quest main menu, go into the app little uh, icon, and then next to Mobile VR Station is a little dot dot dot. Click the dot dot dot, then choose permissions and then give it the you know local file access basically just give it the permission okay now the next thing so if your downloads aren't showing up after you download something then you need to go into android 12 fixes and do enable manage all files you need to click this right here and then that will then bring up a pop-up now if for some reason you don't get the pop-up then you may not be the admin of your headset now I think you can check this. Like if you go into settings, there's this accounts. Oh yeah, yeah, right there. So on my account, it says admin. So this is how I can tell if I am a admin user, my account says admin on it. All right. So back into here, if you click this button and it doesn't show the pop-up, you're probably not the admin user. And if you're not the admin user, either you need to switch to be the admin or you need to reformat the headset and then while you're setting it up, make sure that you're the admin account on the device. Only the first account on the device can be the admin. Like if you have a second account, it can't be the admin. All right, so then that's out of the way. So now the next thing is you need to make sure you set up scoped storage because Android 12 has ruined everything. So I'm gonna go into local files, all folders, Android data. Now you get this wall of error. Okay, so we need to now set up scope storage. So we're gonna to go to scope storage actions. All right, so first off we need to request access. All right, let's see. Use this folder. Okay, hey, I got the bug. This is great. So usually it's supposed to show this little this little pop-up that'll say cancel and allow, you know, allow mobile VR station, blah blah blah. So the trick is it's actually invisible. So if you just point your like you count one, two, three, two, three over here and just click in this little spot, guess what? I just authorized it even if it doesn't show the uh, pop-up. So let's click the Oculus button now. Get back into the app. All right, now we need to crash it. This could get messy. Let's crash it, this button. All right, I'm back in the main. All right, now let's try to go back into the app. All right, now it says if you can see this, then the process worked because I went to step three crash. Step two crash, you may not need this anymore because step, you know, because we found how you can click the invisible button. So I went to step three, crashed it, Oculus button, Oculus button. Then I got, then I, then when I clicked to go back into the app, it actually went to the page that says, you know, if you, if you see this, if you get to the main menu again, you need to start over again because the app has really crashed. Now let's verify. All right, so this is verification successful. You know, this is the the data that came back from that request that you made. So we're we're good here now. Scope storage is set up. So if I click switch to scope, I can see the files or the folders under Android data. Now, hey, remember this is a folder. Look, there's a scroll bar. You know, if you don't see your file, you may need to scroll to find it. All right, now let's do some examples here. So I have already <clears throat> downloaded a couple mods. So, and I have beforehand went into configuration and did new folder and made a bone lab and ADVR folder. These folders aren't going to exist on your headset. They're only on my headset. Now you can do that too. Like let's say I have this dev save down here that I downloaded from the internet. So I can view it at toggle, select that dev save, then say copy, view it at toggle off. This was a bone lab. So I'm going to go into the folder that I made, 
view edit toggle, and now I'm going to paste move. So now that dev save is now in my bone lab folder. So now I have all my bone lab mods together in one nice little folder. All right, so let's say I want to install this Duke Nukem skin. I've already set up scope storage. So scope storage is taken care of. So I'm going to click its little, I can actually click anywhere in here. All right, now I could extract the files, then copy them, then paste them into that folder. But instead I want to do install scope storage. And then I want to choose Bone Lab Mods. All right, so now it has copied, or I should say, it has extracted the files and then moved them into the appropriate folder and then erased all the temporary files. That is what it did. All right, and now let's say I wanted to do it the old fashioned way. How would I do this? I'm going to click on this guy, then I'm going to say Extract Files. All right, now I have this Artsman Duke Nukem folder here. All right, so I'm going to view it at toggle, and I'm going to choose the folder and copy it. You can't choose the zip and copy it because once you go into the scope storage world, a lot of the features turn off. So now I'm going to go previous folder, previous folder, get into my local folders list, go to modding information, then go to bone lab mods, then go view mod folder scoped. Right now I'm inside of the Bone Lab Mods folder. So now I'm going to go to View Edit Toggle. Then I'm going to go Paste. And now I just overwrote the folder that was already there. So that's how you do it the old way. Now let's say you're doing Ancient Dungeon. Well then for Ancient Dungeon, you know, you download the zip, click it, then it it's not in scope storage. Ancient Dungeon is actually its own folder somewhere else. So we're going to just install the mod here. Okay, so there. So now I've installed this ADVR mod. And then if you need to find like mods and things. I have a link down here for modding resources. You can go here. It's my site. And then I have links to the Nexus and to the mod IO for various games. So you can go right to finding the mod that you want. Now you need to be careful because when you go and you look at a mod, you know, there will have its little information block in there somewhere. And usually it may say dependencies and requirements. Now you want to look at the requirements list because in the requirements list it may say, oh hey, to get this lightsaber to work, you also need to have this other mod installed. So you know, so when you're going to download mod A, you also need to get mod B, otherwise it's not going to work. So that's usually one important point to notice when you're downloading mods is, you know, does this mod have any requirements? And then you also need to make sure, like, you know, especially in Nexus, are you actually downloading a mod that is for the Quest version or for the PC version? And then one thing, let's see, um, downloads, on that. Like, here's something, like these Nike avatars here. Like, when they are actually extracted, they don't go into the right folder. They go into a folder called like Quest version, and there's also a folder called PC version because they have packaged them wrong. So like in this case, like if you extracted that skin file into Bone Lab, and then you went to go try to use it, it may show up in the modding, but it's not going to work because the paths are all wrong. Like in that case, you actually need to go into the folder. Like you know, like an idea would be. So go into Bone Lab Mods. Like for example, like let's say this this folder was something else. You, you, you'd go into it and then inside would be the folder that actually is the right one. You would view it at toggle, copy the, um, or click the folder, copy it, then go into the previous folder and then paste it in there. You know, so you, you basically move it one level up because the mod author kind of messed it up. I think that's all the tips I have at the moment to get the system to work. Just remember, you know, Android fixes. If you can't see your downloads, 
and then if you can't install it's probably the scope storage setup so with that in mind try your best and uh thanks